Hi there. So far, our web page looks this way. In this and the next lesson, we're going to add some CSS styles so that our web page looks as we see it on the screen. OK, let's begin by connecting these fonts. Go to the style.css file. Then type in add font face and the font family is open sans. Please notice that we have two versions of each font, with the extension WAF and WAF2. As you can see, Bold comes with the extensions WAF and WAF2, Light with the extensions WAF and WAF2, and so on. It means that we need to make it so that if the browser doesn't support the WAF2 extension, then the font with the WAF extension will be connected. To do this, first we need to connect this font, which is the regular version of the font. For the SRC, we type URL and then in the parentheses we add dots, because we need to go out of the CSS folder. Then we search for the fonts folder, and we need opensans.wolf2. After that, we add format wolf2. If the browser doesn't support the wolf2 extension, then opensans.wolf has to be connected. At the end, we add format wolf. Alright, the regular version of the font is already connected. Now, to connect the light version of the font, we copy these lines of code and paste them below. Here we need to have open sans light wolf2. Right here we need open sans light wolf. Since it is the light version of the font, we need to add font weight 300. Now let's connect the semi bald version of the font. Since it is the semi bald version of the font, we need to add font weight 600. Finally, we are going to connect the bald version of the font. Don't forget to add font weight 700. Alright, the fonts are connected. Now we are going to set some CSS styles for the body. As you can see, the body takes 100% of the width and all the height. So we add width 100% and height 100VH. I'm just reminding you that we cannot use 100% for the height of the web page, we must use height 100VH. VH stands for viewport height. To remove all the default margins set for the body, we add margin 0. As you can see, there is some gradient. From this blue color, then to a lighter blue, and again to a darker blue. That's why we add background image radial gradient. The type of gradient is circle. To get the necessary colors, we need to use these colors. The first color works at 0%. The second color works at 28%. The third color works at 32%. And the fourth color works at 100%. Ok, let's check it out. Here's our gradient. As you can see, the text is in white. That's why we add color white. Also, we add font family open sans. If for some reason the open sans font has not been connected, then the text is displayed in Arial. And if Arial also cannot be connected, then the text has to be displayed in any sans serif font. Let's add font weight light for the whole web page. 
and font size 22 pixels. As you can see, the block with the weather details takes less space than the width of the whole web page. It takes about 80% of the width of the web page. That's why let's set width 80% for the div with a class called weather. We can set height 100% for this div and it will work, because the height will be inherited from the height of the body, which is height 100VH. Now to center align this div, we add margin 0 auto. As you can see, there is some padding on the upper part of the web page. Let's set padding 20 pixels vertically and 0 horizontally. Also, we need to add box sizing border box so that the padding would not be added to the size of the element. Ok, there. Here is the beginning of the block with the weather details. And somewhere here the block ends. Now, let's work on the search box. This element has the class name weather search. The width is 100%. Let's add padding 15 pixels vertically and 10 pixels horizontally. Every input has the default border. So, to get rid of this default border, we add border none. Let's also set the background color. It's going to be white with some transparency. That's why we add RGBA 255, 255, 255 and 0.15. We set 20 pixels for the font size. Let's check what we have so far. Ok, there. But we see that the text is in black. That is, because by default, the input doesn't inherit the color of the parent element. Well, to make it so that the input inherits the color of the parent element, we add color inherit. Ok, much better. Please notice that the default text your city is in grey, while the text has to be in white. To fix this, we are going to add some CSS styles for the class called Weather Search and the pseudo element placeholder. We specify that the color has to be white. The next thing we are going to stylize is the div with the class called Weather Today. As you can see, the weather for the current day, the image and the temperature are placed in one line. So let's add display flex. And then we add justify content space between. Ok, done. Please notice that plus 25c is not in one line. The same is true for west 5 meters per second. So these are the elements with the span tag. To fix this we need to add white space no wrap for the div with a class called weather. Now it's ok, the numbers and the units are placed in one line. As you can see, the sun icon is too large. Let's make it smaller. This element has the class called Weather Image. Let's specify that the width has to be 30V min. I'm just reminding you that V min is a relative unit of measurement and it works this way. If we have a smartphone in portrait orientation, then in this case the width is 100VW and the height is 100VH. And if we turn the smartphone into landscape orientation, the width is also 100VW and the height is 100VH. 
Please notice that on a smartphone in portrait orientation, the width is less than the height. And in the smartphone with landscape orientation, it is vice versa. The width is larger than the height. So for some element, we need to set the lowest value of these two values. We can do it by using the relative unit of measurement called vmin. In our case, we're going to set width 30 vmin. Then the browser will measure the width and height of the viewport. After that, the browser will select the lowest value. In this example, the lowest value is 30 vw. And then the browser will apply 30 vw for the width of the element. And if the mobile phone is in landscape orientation, then again, the browser will measure the lowest value. In this example, the height is the lowest value. That's why 30 vh will be set for the width of the element. Right now, the sun icon is much smaller, but it is a bit squeezed. So we need to add a line self center. Now the shape of the sun icon is correct. Let's add some CSS styles for this block. First comes the name of the city. So we add font size 36 pixels for the diff with a class called Weather City. Let's set the semi bald font by adding font weight 600. Also, we add margin 20 pixels vertically and 0 horizontally. OK, there. Then comes the day of the week. So we're going to set font size 30 pixels and margin 10 pixels vertically and 0 horizontally for the class called Weather Day. As you may remember, we have already set font weight 300 for the whole web page. So for this class, let's set font weight 400, which is the regular version of the font. OK, there. So in the next video, we will continue adding CSS styles and we will start with these icons. Alright, that's all for this lesson. See you in the next one.